guys welcome back to the fadili family youtube channel if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and turning on the post notification bell to be notified each time we post any new video for the returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back and for the premiere game thank you so much for always being there whenever we premiere our videos and on today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make rich tea scones so join me for the ingredients so for the ingredients we're going to require self-raising flour i'll use about a quarter kilogram of flour i will be using natural maziwa mala you can either use maziwa mala fresh milk or natural yogurt then for our rich tea scones, I have some golden raisins that we are going to be adding. I will also be adding some lemon zest, some sugar to taste, and some margarine or butter, depending with what you have. And I have some two eggs which we are going to be using for our white wash. So join me as I start the process. I never made the best choices. My heart can run wild. Distracted with pretty voices, but my past lovers were wrong. Know it from how their love was given. I feel right since they've been gone. Since you became my religion, baby, like a sunrise, like Sunday faith washing over me after the hardest night. So I'll go in with my dry ingredients. This is self-raising flour. Then I will add about a quarter cup of sugar. This is a quarter cup of sugar. Then I will add my margarine, about a quarter cup of margarine. So this here. This is a quarter cup of margarine. Then what I will be doing next is to mix the three dry ingredients using the rubbing method. So I will be doing this until the whole mixture is sandy. So this here is the rubbing method. You rub together all the ingredients. Marry the three ingredients together using the rubbing method. So guys, as I'm doing this, I have already greased my baking tin with some uh, margarine and some flour. I will be showing you that as we layer the scones onto the baking tin and put them into the oven. As well as you can be preheating your oven. No, I'm not a saint. Is anybody these days? Oh, I've been So our flour, sugar and margarine are well married in together. So I will be going in with my raisins. These are the golden raisins. And the next dry ingredients I will be adding are my lemon zest. These ones are for adding flavor into our tea scones as well as, as, well as enriching them. 
So mix this together. So at this point in time, I will now go in with my natural maziva mala. Remember, you could either use milk or uh, natural yogurt or maziva mala for this step. So I'll gradually add it in about half a cup and mix this together. Remember, we are not supposed to over knead the dough. So once it starts uh, holding together, I will now go in with my hands. And as I do this, I will gradually add my maziwa mala so that all the flour can hold together. So after everything has uh, gelled in together, we are going to transfer the dough into our work surface. So I'll first uh, grab the work surface, or rather sprinkle some uh, flour onto the work surface before I can transfer the dough. So our dough is ready. I'll be cutting it into two. That. So I'll work with the first piece, or rather the first portion of the dough first, and I'll roll this out. So I'll roll it to about 20 centi 2 centimeters. Of thickness. Baby, like sunrise, like Sunday faith washing over me after the hardest. Then I will cut my tea scones like that. So these are the first uh, parties that we have cut out for the tea scones. So I'm going to be laying them on the baking tray. I never made the best choices. My heart can run wild. I get distracted with pretty voices. But my past lovers were wrong. Knew it from how their love was given. I feel right since they've been gone. Since you became my religion, baby, like a sunrise, like Sunday faith washing over me after the hardest night, giving me reason to believe. So the next step, we are going to be preparing a whitewash. So this is one egg which I am going to beat into a bowl. So this here is our whitewash. We are going to be spreading it over our tea scones before we can bake them. Take me down to the river. Give me a new start. It's different now with no sinners. Breaking my heart. So evenly spread the whitewash over your tea scones. And once you do this, you're assured that your tea scones will have that 
golden look after they are cooked or rather after they are baked you will have that glaze once they are done baking So those are our tea scones with the whitewash at the top. So what I have not done is that I have not glazed these last six with whitewash because I have one of us who does not take eggs. So those are our tea scones. We are going to be putting them into the oven. So see you in 20 minutes. When our tea scones are ready, I will now apply some butter at the crust to avoid cracking. I learned this trick from Mary Smart Kenya, who's also a YouTuber. You may also reach out on her channel. So apply the butter while they are still warm. So these here are our ready tea scones, looking all yummy and glazed in that golden brown color. They also smell very nice. The aroma is amazing and as you can see, we're able to spot the sultanas that we put in the flour. The black, golden brown, tiny little fruits are the sultanas or rather the raisins. And you can tell the glaze that we just added on to the cooked scones. So guys, I hope you will try this recipe at home and let us know how your rich tea scones turned out. And until our next one, may the Lord bless you and keep you in good health. Goodbye. Like Sunday faith washing over me after the hardest night. You give me reason to believe that it's alright even when it's night. We don't have it all, but we've got a light. So amen. Hallelujah. Thinking God's above. Take me to church with your love.